He meant a lot to me for a lot of reasons that um, have shaped me still today. Remembering Hugh Hefner, Lisa Neeld Infant will never forget how he changed her life. Now, the death of Hugh Hefner has brought out different remembrances, even some jokes about the great articles on the pages of Playboy. I talked with Lisa, who was pictured in Playboy, and the Trumbull County woman will never forget Hef. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Lisa Neeld is still living the life of a model, but recognizes that Playboy changed her life in 2008 when she first made the pages of the magazine. Being in Playboy had such a huge impact on my life. It opened so many doors. This is what started it all. <laughs> it opened more and doors at Playboy. She would be on the pages four times, including a recognition among the sexy 100 all-time Playboy models, along with Kim Kardashian and Anna Nicole Smith. And I think it all started for Lisa when she sent some pictures to Playboy just asking for a chance. Because when you um, embark on something like that that is so iconic and you become a part of it, even if it's a small part, I'll hold that forever. Lisa's chance with Playboy started later than most. Hugh Hefner picked out the cover photo of Lisa in 2009 for the Hot Housewives edition. She met him twice at the Playboy Mansion. He changed my life as far as the way I felt about myself. When I posed for, um, when I tried out for Playboy, <laughs> I was 30 years old. So that's kind of big. While she never was selected as a Playmate, Lisa has special memories of all of her Playboy pictures, even a Playboy necklace she got during one of her trips to the mansion. She will never forget the person she was told to call Uncle Hef once she joined the Playboy family. It's awesome to be attached to such an iconic figure, um, but there will never be another Hef, never, ever. <laughs> no way. Lisa still models today. She just shot a movie where she plays a news anchor, and some of you may remember her as the 1994 state runner-up in the 300-meter hurdles while she was at Mineral Ridge.